The Simpsons Index, an online spreadsheet that is also a podcast. This is the podcast, and here is your host, Elliot J. O'Neill. And we are live. Welcome to The Simpsons Index. I am your host, Elliot J. O'Neill. And today jo- uh, joining me, I have... Shana M. Frost. And Jordan A.E. Frost. And guys, uh, welcome um, to your first episode of The Simpsons Index. Great to join you tonight. Oh, um, thank you. Happy to be here. <laughs> um, <laughs> we just watched, um, oh God, be a prepared host. Three House of Horror 7. Yes, which is the first e- episode of season eight. Yep. Anyway, um, but before we get into that, um, why don't we just talk briefly about your history with The uh, Simpsons, Shana? Do you remember when you first watched The Simpsons and early memories and... Um, God, probably when it started. I don't remember starting to watch The Simpsons. I just know it was always there mm. for me. Um, the only time, the time I became fully aware that I was watching The Simpsons was after my parents. <laughs> this is really weird. So after my parents had divorced and my dad had remarried, and he told us on the Access weekends with him that we weren't allowed to watch The Simpsons because it was a Ooh. bad influence. We saw him two days out of every fortnight so you can imagine how much that rule took <laughs> it didn't and my mum loved The Simpsons so oh, I always always watched really? it yeah mum loves The Simpsons I wouldn't mom's, have picked that mum sometimes quotes The Simpsons wow, I, don't know I should get her on an episode <laughs> yeah she's, she's good so she, she enjoyed it and I think it kept us happy and then just throughout my life you know things that my mum would say I wish you could remember your schoolwork the way you remember The Simpsons <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's like always been part of my life I love The Simpsons obviously awesome how about you Jordan do you remember um yeah well I I wasn't allowed to watch The Simpsons actually growing up at all at all like it wasn't a uh wasn't a done thing but I remember it was always what it was 6 p.m weekdays channel 10 channel 10 right I always remember that but we would watch like the news on channel 9 or something boring (laughs) um (laughs) yeah so I I but the first I guess the first like episode that I remember watching and like was like oh yeah was when it was I can't remember what season it is but it's there was the Who Shot Mr. Burns it was the yeah. the, the second episode like the, which was the first episode of the next season I yeah. think and they had a big event leading up to it and it was like theories and people like coming on to the show and like thinking about oh I think it's this and blah blah blah, blah. and then yeah watching the um the, like the the previous episode and then that episode at the same time and I think that's like the first time I kind of went, oh yeah, like this is good. But then I, I never really kind of got back into it. And then I've, I kind of met Shana and um, I was kind of reacquainted with everything. And then I realized, hang on, I've seen these episodes before, so I must have watched it, but I just don't consciously remember it. When I was maybe seven to 14 was probably the primary viewing. Mm. And then anything after that, which is probably anything season 13 onwards is, is kind of not not as uh, as well known no not as every, everyone is as stupidly dedicated as I am mm. uh, <laughs> but no, um, yeah I mean if you didn't watch the show um, you know the show you definitely watch the episode just from quoting around the schoolyard mm. and everything absolutely like, all these things enter the vernacular alright cool guys um, so yeah we just watched Treehouse of Horror 7 and um, oh just generally guys uh, what do you think this is the Treehouse of Horror that actually annoys me the most. Really? I love Citizen Kang. I love it, love it, love it. But the other two, the Thing and I and the... Um, the Genesis Tub. The Genesis, Genesis Tub. tub yeah. I, I think I've just seen them so much that maybe I've just gotten annoyed with them. I don't know. Like, mm. I, And they're not my favourite treehouses, those those particular two. Yep. Um, so it's, when I started, I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> when it came on. Wrong treehouse. But, um, but it's still, it's still really good. It's still, a, you know, a good episode. And I think, you know, you sort of judge how much you've watched it by how quotable it is to you. And I just remember, mm. like, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, hillbillies prefer to be called sons of the soil. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course I said that all the time. Or, like, yep. you know, every time I go to look for something in the fridge, how often do you hear me say, fish heads, fish heads? <laughs> yeah. I just do it all it's the true. time. And I just sort of forget where it comes from. It's just yeah. like there. So it's a good episode, but it's not my favourite episode. For sure. sure. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I, when I was watching it, I think because I was looking at it, I was watching it differently. I was watching it with, like, this kind of critical eye. Yeah. Um, which is obviously, usually we're watching it Hungover. With McDonald's, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like the next day, and it's something you just relax to. And I was watching it, and I was like, "There are some, there are some really good jokes, but 
I think there are other episodes where it's like the story itself is really good and it makes you really kind of want to enjoy. I think it it's probably down to the fact as well that it's three separate like vignettes. Like it's yeah. it's it's not it's kind of hard to have a you know uh, any kind of character development uh, or anything Simpsons, like that. I don't know where the word vignettes comes uh, in here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we want to talk about twenty two short stories about Springfield, we can. Oh, we can't we wait to do that. that one. <laughs> That's gonna um, have to be a group episode. I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but I was, yeah, yeah, sorry, so, so I was just gonna say, like, I, I think it's it. Yeah, it, it, it isn't one of my favorite of the kind of the what we'll call like decade one of the Simpsons. Sure. Um, I think yeah, just because it's kind of. Some of the things are like, oh, it's kind of annoying or, or anything. It's just kind of some of the jokes don't land as well, I think. Mm. I was actually surprised re-watching this one because um, the first two segments are actually kind of slow. Like, yeah. And um, especially with Treehouse of Horrors, the three short vignettes, they've got to be quick and snappy. And yeah. um, it's interesting that this one didn't have any like uh, intro sequence jokes at all. It was just... Straight in, Homer's hands on fire from the jack o' lantern, whatever, Treehouse of Horror yep. 7. Um, and so they had a bit of extra time to work with, but they really didn't use it that effectively, yeah. at, at least yeah. in the first two. But yeah, Citizen Kang, um, oh my god, that is so damn funny. And yeah. even though they're not the people anymore, it still continues to be relevant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. Really, yeah, like no. the whole election, like, uh, like, well, even though it's a US election and it's kind of a different system, it's still yeah. that whole. Like, oh my god, like it's lesser of two evils, really, yeah. like yeah. in any kind of thing. And it's, yeah. And it's actually, when he goes, go ahead, throw your vote away. <laughs> yeah. And that's how I feel every time I vote for the Greens. Like, yeah. they're just not going to, in this electorate. You yeah. Know, like, yeah. It is, it so, is sorry, horrible. Greens, I voted for Old Mate Albo. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but, um, yeah, no, I think it's, um, like I said, there, there, there are some, kind of some laugh out loud moments in each mm. of those. But it's just it, it can't. I, I guess it doesn't sustain it. Not to say it's bad. Like it's it's definitely no. not at a kind of a, oh not this episode kind of thing. But it's a uh, yeah. It's 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 definitely it's it, it it kind of felt like a maybe a like a st- the start to the season wasn't as, as yeah as sure. kind of previous ones. Um. All right. Well, let's um. So Treehouse of Horror work a bit different with this general chat. So we'll go yep. through um each of the segments. Uh, the Thing and I, the um, parody of The Hunchback of Notre Dame and Basket Case, apparently. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, the old uh, Hugo in the um, roof. Um, uh, uh, so yeah, this one was sort of lighter on the jokes and more about um, just the story moving forward. And I actually thought that they didn't actually quite establish it that well. Yeah, like, I mean, it, it's kind of... Um, I will, uh, again, the, the, I guess you can't really talk about the trio so far as being like canonical or anything like that nah. I, made, I made quote marks because you can't obviously see me um but it's kind of the, the other ones are kind of it, it, they're not really grounded in or either they are or they're like so far fantastical mm. that they're so but this one was kind of a mix and it kind of it didn't really fly because it's like well i kind of at the start it, it's kind of dumb but i was kind of going well, why haven't they heard anything in the attic before, or why haven't they ever noticed anything about? Yeah, it? I know it was and, kind of and the like, scar, and it was all very convenient explanations. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, So it wasn't. I didn't. I didn't love it as much in ter- in terms of like, well, the, the story itself is it's not really a. I, I get what they're trying to do, but they had to kind of. It felt shoehorned in, like it was just there to kind of. Uh, you've never noticed before, and it's jokes and stuff. But mm, um, sure. Yeah, I but, don't know. Yeah, it has two of my favorite moments. Um, uh, t- yeah, two of my favorite moments of that section was. The pigeon rat, yeah, that just is always endlessly funny to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, the one quote that I keep saying over and over in my life: "See, Marge, why do we need to go to a car wash when we can just drive in the rain?" Yeah, <laughs> which is something I think to myself every day when it comes to I haven't washed the car in ages, but at least the outside looks nice yeah. after today. Yeah, it's true. Mm. Yeah, it is a bit flat, and like you said at the beginning of this, and I said before we started recording was. It hasn't been since maybe I watched this episode the first time that I've ever paid really close attention because we mm. often are watching this when you're hungover or sick or it's com- like we're saying, like you know whatever, I was saying before, yeah. Elliot, it's comfort food, yeah, right? It's yeah. sort of you just, yeah, you're just snuggling, hunkering down with the Simpsons sort of thing. Mm. And so watching it and being critical, you're like, eh, it's, it was good, but not great. Yeah. <laughs> to quote the Simpsons using yeah. another Simpsons. Yeah. Um, I guess, but the thing, is, like, like when, we're, when we're looking at the the menu screen, 
and you look at all the other episodes that kind of come after it and there's like the Hank Scorpio oh. one there's yeah. the uh, Homer becomes the boxer one and you go like but those are like really good episodes yeah. so it's kind of comparatively it, it doesn't kind of reach the same heights I don't think that's true no. Um, all right, and the Genesis tub, which is um, a Twilight of a, par- a, a parody of a Twilight Zone episode, which is just a common theme with the Treehouse of yeah. Horrors. Yeah. Like, uh, remember when I did the Halloween trivia last year? Like, I yeah. was just yes. so freaking surprised at how many Simpsons Treehouse of Horror segments yeah. were based on Twilight Zone. I think like, we might have to just watch the Twilight. Zone, yeah, I, think. I was about to say. I think That's if we ever watch the Twilight Zone, we'll probably go. Oh, I know how this ends because you've already seen it in the Simpsons, <laughs> like the uh, like the Gremlin on the you know mm. like on the bus and stuff like that. Yeah. Know? Um. So yeah, Genesis Tub. Uh, sorry, you had a question or something for Pat, or we just talked. Um. Yeah. Again, it was. Again, it was a. It was. It, it had funny moments and um i think yeah the the story was a little at least it wasn't kind of again like just forced like it didn't feel as forced as as uh, the thing and i but um yeah it had it had like again like a couple of funny haha but it was some of it was a bit it was more of a story one wasn't it yeah yeah yeah. i think so and i I think think, sorry i was just gonna say the um i think it would kind of give the animators a chance to kind of have a bit of fun like that bit with the uh like the sequence with the ships that could have been like two seconds but they mm. spent like you know 15 20 seconds that you can see them all flying around and going and yeah and like flying up into bart's face and stuff like uh i think it was more just that kind of felt like filler but gave them time to kind of do something fun yeah, yeah. Uh, i still like the ships flying behind the eyes at such a warner brothers yeah <laughs> moment yeah um what i was gonna say is i think that there are some episodes and I, the thing and i and um genesis have i think both are the same and you do see some full length Stimson's episodes are like this where they're more geared and I think this is what happens also in the later episode, later seasons is that they're more geared for the kids humour sure you know, Citizen Kang is really full of humour that adults understand as yeah. a kid you sort of and this is what, what part of the appeal of the Simpsons um, in general is that you watch it as a kid and you're like Bart radical eat my shorts <laughs> Lisa's a nerd whatever and then you watch it as an adult and there's all these other jokes that you start picking up on and I think the thing and I and the Genesis tub are both just those really yeah like Warner Brothery yeah big big gag kind of jokes yeah true rather yeah than a bit more subtle yeah Genesis tub was more about the stories than the jokes it was pretty uh, mm. light on the jokes but yeah. you know there are a couple of good ones oh I made Lutherans and yeah yeah um, <laughs> And um, oh, this is better than Martin's ukulele. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can throw away all the other <laughs> children's entries again. It is uh, there are jokes, but it is um, yeah flatter than certainly um, Citizen Kane. Which um, with, uh, just going on what you said, Shana. Maybe I don't. I don't actually remember particularly thinking much of it as a kid, but now it's um, yeah, just all too sh- um, horrifyingly relevant. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yes, it is. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, I I, I love Simpsons. Kind of like it, I think it's even got like a the little bits of just like visual humor and everything that they include in that. Whereas the other one, they didn't really have it. So like, you know, like like Ross Perot like punching his hat when they're like, you know, the third <laughs> party isn't you know isn't yeah. yeah. thing. Or you know, like the yeah, just like little things that you know kind of, you kind of pick up. I, I I really enjoy that one more so than the other two. I think we're pretty agreed on that anyway. But um yeah i think like you were saying it is definitely i feel you would give more for like a an adult like a thinking adult because a kid is like elections are kind of these these big spooky things that happen and that yeah. you can't influence yeah. them is it just, just like a clear example of like why this episode becomes more relevant because because now you understand elections mm. so now you laugh like when you're a kid you're laughing at the aliens and yeah. the naked people and now you're <laughs> laughing at the actual jokes behind the elections and it always i always think about this uh, the perfect example is um I'm an amendment to be <laughs> when yeah. I was a kid every time that fucking episode came on I hated it because I hated that PSA segment yeah. because I didn't get it I just thought it was an annoying song yeah. now I'm an adult I'm like that's hilarious because I know what that actually yeah. means yeah. now so it evolves over time and I think Citizen Kang ages beautifully absolutely uh, one of the things that um, uh, struck me now and um uh, is that they really do um, have strong characters in their Bill Clinton and in their Bob Dole. Like, I mean, as a kid especially, I wasn't aware of who these people were. No. And especially not Bob Dole. Because <laughs> no. There's a name you might have, like, heard thrown around, but, like, <laughs> because I don't Bob know who Dole it is. Because fuck anybody in the White House. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And he wasn't out there playing sax solos and kissing babies and whatnot. Yeah. No. Um, 
He was just, um, um, but they really made a strong character of him, and you got a good sense of him there. Mm. And I thought they did that really well. What was the Bob Dole trivia you were saying that? Yeah, so um, I, I learned this uh, a, a while ago that Bob Dole injured his arm in World War Two, which kind of left his right hand mostly paralyzed. Um, so what he would do is carry a pen like gripped in his hand um, so that people wouldn't try and shake his hand like from that they'd shake his either his left hand or something like that just so that it kind of it wouldn't embarrass people I think I think that's right the last bit but yeah he's definitely injured his hand and so they, they even I thought that was pretty cool how they like had that in the show as well like you see him walking around with the pen like clutched in his right hand yeah and nothing I'd never noticed that before and yeah, then when you pointed it out, I was watching the whole episode. They kept it up. It yeah. Like Even when he fell, well, flew out into space, he yeah, was still, he's still holding got it. the bed, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, man, God, how many times have we said in our life, don't blame me, I voted for kudos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. Oh, I say all the time when something bad happens to me, I always say, Bob Dole don't need this. <laughs> <laughs> I just, it, you know, I'm, I'm consciously aware that these quotes come from The Simpsons, mm. but now that we're talking about it, I'm like, Jesus, it's like my whole vocabulary is just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like we communicate solely with references from The Simpsons, it's pretty basically. much. Exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, you take away The Simpsons, we don't even have a marriage. And you and I don't have a friendship. <laughs> yeah. It's the end. I was gonna, yeah, I was going to say the... Um, Abortions for some, <laughs> tiny American flags for others. Yeah. Like that's again, that's pretty much politics. Like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's again it's condensed true. into a single thing. Like that whole uh, you can please all the people some of the time, or some of the people all the time. Yeah, yeah. And always twirling, twirling, twirling towards twirling. freedom. <laughs> all right, cool. Well, that's good for the general chat. Um, we'll do the um questionnaire now mm -hmm. um starting with you shana uh talking your history with the episode is there anything you wanted to add to um probably remembering the first viewing at all or i don't remember the first time i watched no uh, no i don't i really don't remember the first time i watched it so my own like i said at the beginning my history with the episodes i remember i've obviously seen it so many times that it just annoys me to watch it yeah <laughs> but i'm happy to stick it out for citizen kane yeah <laughs> and that has definitely grown on me through the years definitely your history yeah, look, I, w when I'm thinking about it, I it, it kind of seems cliche now because we're talking about it all the time, but um, I remember the, the Citizen Kang bit, uh, and I, I, I don't think I would have remembered as much the first two. Like, if, when I'm thinking about it in my memory, I'm like, I don't remember when I first saw these two, but I remember the Citizen Kang bit because it, it must have, well, it must have been 90, it must have been during or before the 96 election, right? So, um, so look, there's a little bit of a, a quick bit of simpsons maths you can do to yep. figure out when you might have first seen it is yeah. that um so simpsons started in 1989 so you add the season to that but you pl uh, add an extra year because it took a year to get to our shores right yeah um so season eight would have been 97 uh, 98 so yeah this came out in uh 96 so yeah we probably saw it 97 98 okay. so that well yeah so that probably means then that, that would have been uh Clinton's like second term I guess mm. by that stage and I, I would have known who Clinton was because I think I, then I would have seen that episode and gone oh yeah I know who that is because he's the guy with like the uh, like the he had the sex thing right yeah. <laughs> like that's what the big hoo-ha is right now is yeah, like the, I think the Lewinsky scandal was in 96 <laughs> 7 somewhere yeah. around there and I wonder if maybe around 96 did it because I do remember like you're saying because 96 was when I saw when we all saw I think in Australia anyway when we all saw the um, who shot Mr. Burns? Mm -hmm. Where we did you think we got caught up at that point? Just so that we all because we all got Maybe. caught up in the hubbub around it. I remember because well, I remember watching Larry King at my uncle's house because Larry King was doing yeah. a big segment on it or whatever. And so I wondered maybe if we were caught up by that point. Yeah, Maybe. Know, probably. Yeah, who knows? Um, so yeah, this is an often revisited one. You're watching uh, this often when. It's hangover in Macca's time, and <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I think we kind changed. of cycle through seasons. Like we kind of go, which one have we seen? You know, the for well, basically anything between three and ten. We'll go, which one have we was the, has been the longest time since we've seen that season? And then we'll just like start from disc one and then. So I think, but this one always, well, obviously, it's always the first of the first disc yeah. of season eight. So it's probably yeah, automatically one of the most played. <laughs> yeah. Just in rotation. 
yeah 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 and yeah as you were saying such a good disc this one like yeah. oh yeah absolutely scorpio the um the brothel and the oh, oh yeah i forgot about that one sex <laughs> cauldron <laughs> <laughs> um so do you want to watch this one again would you watch it again yeah definitely I would yeah again. yeah like i mean i i think um it it's more fun as a kind of i guess like we were talking about just to relax and it's because it's just familiar Mm. And you can kind of just go, yeah, this is good. Oh, yeah, and laugh at the jokes because you know they're coming up and everything. So yeah. I think, yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yeah. And then an election year again. It yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was especially which, relevant which this year, right now. going to happen probably in six months' time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I was about to say, we've just had one and the Americans are having one in a couple of months. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. going to be mayhem. Um, is this one you recommend other people watching? Yeah. Yeah. I'd yeah, yeah. I think I'd it's look, it's I'd classic Simpsons. I guess, it is so. classic Simpsons. And I'm not saying that it's the best Simpsons episode, mm. but it's definitely classic. Mm. And as much as you're saying like it's not canon, it also kind of is canon. Like it's so yeah. the, this episode certainly has parts to it that are so integral to Simpsons um, history mm. and knowledge. I think, mm. yeah, definitely, and yeah. definitely fed the vernacular of Simpsons fans and Def- quoting. Yes, and, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I'd recommend watching it um, as well if you're a South Park fan because um, that episode uh, where The Simpsons did it um, in South Park references this one heavily. All right. All right. Um, have you seen that? Yourself? I don't know Are you guys South Park fans at all, really? I was until... I that was watched. another show I wasn't allowed to watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, taped, uh. <laughs> I used to try it, like I'd tape it on the VCR and then like watch it when my, uh, when my parents went around. But that was like early early seasons like when it was still on like 9 p.m that was another show my mom liked (laughs) my mom's a badass (laughs) but i was only i had also had to tape it often it was on i mean you know you guys know me i fall asleep quite early yeah so i did have to tape it and the only time my mom would let me watch it is when she force fed me food and she would like make me eat certain foods (laughs) so one time she made me eat six kuse the stuffed stuffed zucchini six of them and i didn't like them and i didn't eat them for years after that (laughs) she said if you don't eat them you don't get to watch (laughs) all right um any jokes that uh sort of would have flown over your head in the earlier ones that you only just sort of picked up on now um yeah like like i you know when they're like clinton and doll at the end they're like you know partisan politics are tearing this country apart like that would have i i didn't know what Mm. partisan even meant anyway so it was kind of just like Oh, I guess they're talking about that. The, like the Ross Perot thing as well. Like it's kind of like the whole Nader thing. Like, yeah. You know, like I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have gotten that as a, as a kid. Yeah. Like I think it's because there's not so many like constant jokes. Like it's kind of, I think most of them, the, like we said before, these ones that seem to be a little bit more geared towards kids humor um, or just doing a faithful kind of parody yeah. rather than like uh, kind of the adult humor. So more so in, in I think in, um, uh, Citizen Kang, but yeah. Mm. What about you, Shana? Any jokes that you didn't pick up on the first time, uh, the first few times watching, or anything that just really popped up now, and you're like, oh, I didn't yeah. notice that. No, nothing that's popped up in now. Maybe the new thing with Bob Doll's hand. That yeah, is yeah. New. I had, I had but so it's not really called attention to. It's just a kind of a. Faithful. No, no, but you know, it's, but it's, it's like such a nice touch now that yeah. you mention it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we pretty much went through all the influence and quotable moments. Anything else? Mm. Any other quotes? Um. Oh, give me the gift certificate. <laughs> Let me see yeah. shoes. Nice ones. <coughs> and if you're going to want socks, I'll get some socks. Yeah. I, I always love, why do bad things happen to good people? <laughs> yeah. Why am I so fat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, that would require a remake later, which... <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. You got... Anyway. So do you know the song Fish Heads? What song yeah, Fish yeah, Heads? yeah. The actual song. It's based on a song. It's based oh, on a real song. No, yeah. Fish head, fish heads, roly poly fish heads. Oh my god, I had no idea. I thought it was just Homer saying. It's fish like a head. weird yeah. kind of experimental film, oh. yeah, it kind was, of thing. Yeah, it yeah, was, was awesome. regularly played on Doctor Demento's radio show. Yeah, and that's right. I think it's by an uh, uh, artist called Barnes and Barnes, and it, yes, it was um, right. they. Uh, the most famous version was on an episode of Sesame Street or The Muppet Show or some such, and it was oh, wow. you know Muppet fish heads and everyone's dancing around being wow. more like, I remember seeing it on Rage once I think yeah and it was like <laughs> what the hell is going on it was like one of those it was like have they messed this up with like eat carpet or something because <laughs> <laughs> I do not understand what's going on 
no idea. Well, there you go. That's something you need to know about the episode. There That's we something go. New. <laughs> All right, Wait, what cool. Was, what was huh? Homer's bi- uh, autobiography called? Homer, oh, I hardly, hardly knew, knew me. me. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the unsold copies of Dad's book. Um, yeah. Uh, I do love actually when they're up in the um, attic and you see all the things from past episodes. Like there's a painting yeah, yeah. of Ringo and the the B sharps. I was about to say I saw the B yeah. sharps one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, actually, and yeah, finally the gag with Doctor Hibbert going, "Oh, you haven't seen your own reflection in the oh, mirror," yeah. and it's just him. <laughs> he punches through the frame. All right, time to give this um, episode a ranking. Um, so, in my fit system, it goes gold, silver, bronze. Um, and you can give it a participant or a failure if you didn't like it. But if it was fucking one of the best things in the world you give it a cubic zirconia start with you jordan where where's your ranking so i think again like uh i starting the episode i probably would have said gold but then watching it again i'm gonna give it a silver Mm. only because it's it's not it's not kind of uh bad or painful to watch but it's just i like it doesn't hit the kind of the lofty heights of other episodes so for me it's uh, silver yep how about you shana yeah i'm gonna go ahead and agree with the silver that's what i was thinking as well yeah it's not it's not essential viewing it's mm. good and it's a nice it's a nice to have it's not a must have that's yeah. what i think about it yeah especially um and i agree as well silver um because um especially when compared to other tree house of horrors it's yeah. um surprisingly um shit. Uh, not shit. <laughs> surprisingly slow yes. um it's yeah. funny that it took me a while to get to that word <laughs> um, <laughs> so all right cool Sweet. unanimous agreement on silver and all right so we're going to take a quick break and watch our next episode which mm-hmm. jordan picked um and you actually haven't seen this one so that's no. interesting it's just based I, on reputation I've seen, I've seen three minutes of it because i've seen the sequence yeah uh but i've not seen the whole episode so this will be interesting all right, so next we're going to watch Eternal Moonshine of the Simpsons Mind. We will be back soon. They can't play baseball. They don't wear sweaters. They're not good dancers. They don't play drums. Okay, so we just watched Eternal S- Moonshine of the Simpsons Mind, um, um, ninth episode of the nineteenth season. Mm-hmm. What do you think, Shana? I've come up with a sound effect for this episode. <laughs> That's me being hit over the head with terrible jokes and extreme wackiness. <laughs> Fucking hell. This is why I stopped watching The Simpsons in the first place. What? I, you know, it, it had potential. Yeah. You can hear Homer's voice has changed, but I mean, I think it was a cracked article. Maybe it was that Simpsons essay mm. um, about zombie Simpsons that said, mm. you know, yeah. th- their voices do change because they, they've gotten older. Take the, there's wear mm. and tear on voices. Okay, fine. But it's just... Oh, what crazy things are the Simpsons up to this time? Yeah, what about you, John? What do you think? I think I, I wrote, as I was watching it, I had to write notes because I'm like, I got to remember all the things that I hate about this episode. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like, you know what? I think it's, it's little things that maybe like original Simpsons does, but it really like it it could pad over it with like kind of good story or good humor or whatever it was this every little thing annoyed me about it um like just little things like like when homer gets in and his house is empty and he he got like they spend time going to each room going where are the kids maybe they know look and it, mm. it, and he's just talking to himself and maybe that happens a bit in earlier seasons but it's just like why is he doing that? Like, it's like, it was just this because, forced because exposition. New, and new Homer is stupid. Yeah, it's true. And nothing else. That is literally his only defining mm. feature. He's a fucking idiot with no depth. Mm. But uh, yeah, I just, I yeah, there did was not one like it. Good, well, there was one joke that I kind of liked there where he was like looking for the kids. And he's like, Marge, where are you? Hey, kids, where, uh, where's Marge? And there was no kids in there. And he goes into another room and goes, wait, where are you? Uh, um, do you know where you are? And yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, I thought that was some good phrasing, but I mean, we're yeah. talking, trying to just find little <laughs> <laughs> little things to like in an otherwise then, giant high pile of shit. Yeah. <laughs> but then there was like, it was that versus the, why the fuck was there like an Ice Age sequence? Uh, the thing is it like trying to cash in on the movie? Like, because other times there, there are little things, like the, the start of the episodes usually 
have nothing to do with the rest of the episode, but it causes there's some event that causes the rest of the episode to happen, like yeah. in early seasons. Whereas this is just like absolutely nothing to do with the rest of the episode. There's some fucking stupid groundskeeper woolly ice age parody. Yeah, in parody. the later <laughs> in the later seasons, they overvalue the one note characters like um, yeah, groundskeeper. So- Grandskeeper Willie, Sideshow Mel, Duffman. Duffman. And I know, I know, no, not happening in this episode, but Crazy Cat Lady from yeah. one episode suddenly becomes a character. Yeah, they yeah. gave her depth in the, um, uh, they did like a seven up parody episode and yeah. oh my God. they gave her a backstory. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, and yeah, just on that Ice Age sequence, it, it always annoys me when they do these little things because like I say, you know, say what you want about the films, but those bits with the squirrel and the acorn were always, you know, kind of cute and clever. And this one wasn't. No, <laughs> no it and was like, it's like, why are you doing this? You're not saying anything about um, Ice Age or the thing. You're just doing what they do, but worse. <laughs> it's like yeah. we need a uh, we need to show that it's winter somehow. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that was like what they come up with. And it's like, well, this will gain us a few weeks. It's like, oh, it's got Ice Age people. And that must have been when it f- maybe the first or second one came out. Yeah. So maybe people were like. But something else that they've done in later seasons is played. Okay. So in the first few seasons, you don't really know much about Willie. He's a bit rough. Yeah. You don't really yeah. know much about his life because, like you said, he's a one note character. He just adds a bit of humor every now and then. And he's sort of developed into this, oh, crazy Scotsman who's yeah. homeless and insane. Mm. Let's watch him eat an acorn. Like, I mean, what, what the hell? That's not... And then he, like, really just or pretty much murders that squirrel. And Yeah, yeah that's right. Like... Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Whereas if, it, if this was original Simpsons, it might be something that happens in the background mm. as potentially an add-on. You would see Willie yeah. eating acorns or, or something. It would be different. It would be more subtle and that would make it fun. I was about to say, but then again, I, I compare that to like the Whacking Day episode where, you know, they're, <laughs> they're killing snakes by the... Mm. Oh, like they've got the pre-whacked snakes and stuff. But then, yeah, this one is like, it shows you like full-on just murder <laughs> of yeah. some animal. And like, speaking okay. of which, yeah, Patty and Selma just outright yeah. mur- murder Homer yeah, at the end. Is, yeah. and that, that bit really... So, well, like, the crazy stuff has happened before, but I was always kind of grounded in reality. Whereas this is just this like fantasy world where it's like, yeah, he would just decided to murder you. Like, what? Yeah, what and that? and uh, um, and then he, uh, as he's falling, goes, "Oh, I'm glad I didn't do anything stupid." I'm like, "You didn't do anything stupid. You just literally, mm. legitimately, <laughs> almost got killed." Yeah, mm. <laughs> yeah, by someone else. Yeah. Um, Another thing, it, it felt, and I don't know if, like I said, I haven't seen most of the the second decade yeah but like flanders had like real attitude as well yeah. like he was really yeah. like he slams the door in homer's face and that's like not a flanders thing to do from that's what i remember about else that they've done in this later in this decade i guess that's the best way to put it is flanders christianity was always just something that was there and it was something mm. that was quite cute yeah. You know, it was like, you know, the songs and things that they it was would like sing. like his shield kind of yeah. thing, yeah. And in the later seasons, it, be, it just became like this really nasty, defining feature about him. Mm. So mm. it wasn't like in that, oh, I'm a Christian, so I thought the worst, I yeah. assumed the worst. Like, that's really actually not a very nice thing to but say. It's not, it's and not, it's not funny. But it, but it's and also, it's not Flanders either. Flanders no, no, always thinks Flanders. about like the best. Like, that's I mean, right. obviously you've got that backstory of him and, you know, being a terrible child and everything as well. But, yeah, but, but it, kind of canon Flanders is like this kind of, Great. Um, He's even a bit Mormony how he kills with kindness. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know, I was I was pouring a drink the other day and I was thinking if because I I poured it so I had a lot of foam just on my soda and I thought about I'm oh. so bad I'm gonna make this mostly head like that's like the meanest thing you ever see Flanders do exactly and this is like actually a mean hearted thing to do which is totally yeah. out of character which would be nice like um if like Simpsons like had a different character that they were used for, uh, using for the like um yeah the ultra right wing you know horrible yeah. nastiness like uh, yeah if they had uh, um. Fucking Westboro Baptist <laughs> character, yeah, which right, yeah. they try and integrate parts of that sort of Christian into Flanders. And yeah, no, I suppose. That's not what we're doing no. right. I suppose it, it, you kind of you've always had that dichotomy of like Lovejoy and Flanders as yeah. being like the Lovejoy is the kind of the he's not he's not nasty, but he's the kind of the less forgiving, like kind of more put less upon. Warm. Yeah. Whereas Flanders is that charitable character, and it's kind of like he's he's a, he's obviously changed. I, I'm not sure if this is because he's only in it for like. 20 seconds of the episode so it's kind of hard to know mm. if that's uh, uh what you know what it, what he's like in these kind of the seasons around this time but yeah it was just it struck me as like well that's that doesn't seem like 
like the Flanders, like the Ned Flanders that we know, like they obviously didn't have enough jokes. So they, <laughs> some... they didn't even have one joke. <laughs> no, but I mean, like obviously there was points where you were supposed to laugh, right? Yeah, but yeah. yeah, they obviously didn't have enough of them. So like some of the jokes just went on forever. Like mm-hmm. it, the first thing in time I noticed was like the Glee, like the oh these Glee kids don't whatever, oh. and they could have just showed like in early episodes it would have been two seconds of that them just yeah. kind of singing, uh, but it went on and it just kept going along the whole line and stuff. And the second one was like the oh no you're just mixing this up with a commercial that you remember. Oh and, my god! And that just that went on and yeah, on and on. And but then the whole commercial. Yeah. Yeah. Then the weird thing was is that it cuts back to Lisa's face and she doesn't even do anything. She's just staring. And then it goes back to like the story, and I'm like, "What is the point of this? this? Is like literal just filler material? I don't even understand why they did it in the first place." Yeah, that sort of uh, stuff was I found like there's a definite era where they're reacting to the Family Guy's mm. popularity mm. and mm-hmm. including a lot of cutaways, references to things outside Simpsons, where like when they were doing references and stuff, it was still very much a Simpsons thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, that it, funny you say Family Guy because that. The joke with the orderly, like the orderly who drinks, takes sips out of my juice. Uh, but then they go and show him punching the orderly. I'm like, yeah. that's like straight out of Family Guy. It's like that it that time when whatever. And then they go and actually show it. Yeah. And I'm like, why? They didn't need to show that joke. Like they didn't need to do it at all. Mm-hmm. But they did it. I'm like, that seems and when, really reminiscent of Family Guy. Yep. Yeah, and when they um, have Krusty with his racist joke, and mm. then they br- made a call back to that in the episode because we really yeah. needed uh, to see a bunch of Mexicans and Costa Ricans hanging him up like a pinata beating but him. You know, yeah. In the past, if The Simpsons made a reference to, I'm not going to say they're racist jokes. I don't think there are really are any racist jokes as such in, in old Simpsons. Mm. There are references to racial stereotype jokes. Where you're not laughing at the racial stereotype, you're sort of laughing at the people who are making the stereotype, but they're not even as obvious, and they're a lot more respectful. Yeah, this yeah. One just wasn't. I, this, I, yeah, they've lost their. This one with the oh, hot sauce in the eyes, and you're like, oh. Uh, uh, but the thing, I wonder, so I wonder if though, whether if if they had the values of today, because we're looking at it today's lens, right? Ten years ago, when that episode was in, I don't know if maybe there was that as much focus on every little thing can be a kind of... But, but don't forget, d- we're looking at episodes from 20 years ago. That's true. Yeah, yeah. No, you not, could make a point. Yeah, I mean, look at that episode where the... Who's fighting on the lawn? The Yakuza and the Mafia, is it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And that's like two different racial stereotypes and that's not racist in any way and it's not cruel and mean. Yeah. It's funny and lighthearted d- comedy. And this is yeah. not funny, lighthearted comedy. This was like brash yeah yeah like the oh like hey i'm not mexican i'm poor uh, costa rican you know, and why should i care like it's yeah, like, yeah. Oh, at least he oh, gets hit with a okay. bat because that's exactly yeah. what i felt like doing yeah to the exactly of that joke but like i did like one a uh, little ra- uh, racially charged joke. i don't know if it was even that it was just the the stereotypical jewish character i don't know that he even has a name the, oh, the old yeah, guy yeah. um uh, and where he goes, oh, I remember my first Christmas. Oh, that's a yeah. terrible yeah. Jewish accent. <laughs> yeah. That's excellent Chinese food. Yeah. And I'm like, ah, oh, that's cute. That's yeah, because yeah. that, that's a fun stereotype to play yeah. with. That's a true stereotype. Yeah, that's not a, <laughs> yeah. a joke. It's a funny stereotype. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and um, just around that part of the episode, I think there were a couple of good frink jokes, and I did like the sign gag. The MRI, the Memory Recovery Re- Institute. Institute yeah. We do not do MRIs. Yeah. That was good. That was <laughs> yeah. solid. I, yeah, there were a couple of little things, like little things that reminded me of like old, like you know, with the. It wasn't. It wasn't like great, but like the at the start, like the blimp, like it gets covered yeah, in snow yeah. and gets like oh, weighed no. down. It's like oh no, across the thing, and it like falls, like because that's just like, that would be like a throwaway thing, and it was a like a throwaway thing in this because mm. it was just showing it's snowing, like. But I, yeah, I talking felt, about the timing again, it was just. One punch done. It didn't mm. like yeah. the orderly joke drag it out or the yeah, list exactly. drag it out. Yeah. Like I thought that was at least something that was like, okay, we're just gonna we're not gonna like invest heavily in this yeah. <laughs> one even, second joke. Even that orderly joke could have been funny. Yeah. If Abe didn't say at the end, Oh no, he saved my life. Yeah. If they just left it. it okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, you know what? I, I think it would have just been funny at just ignoring it like you don't even need to do it or just no, you don't need to back it. later in the episode like or something like they're yeah. back in the home and like Abe just nudges him and Homer just punches a guy and like yeah yeah, yeah. I don't know like it just seems unnecessary and yeah um, obvious it's very obvious and yeah I just want to talk to like um, the um, eternal sunshine sort of parody like mm. 
I liked the um, introduction of the memory bank, even though it took a bit too long explaining it. Mm. And then, like, it sort of broke its own rules by Homer being able to pluck um, mm. his memories of yeah, Bart and Lisa interact. along to help him along the way. It's like... Yeah. I had a question about that because as they're going through it, and it, when you first see, like, the pictures of his memory, there's, like, a... Um, there's a picture of Bart kind of looking up, looking scared, and there's like a shadow over him. Is that like a reference back to another episode, or is that just there supposed to be? There were a couple be... of references, I think, back to old episodes. It, mm. Some yeah. somewhere, and I could say I was like, oh yeah, I remember like that bit, but it, like that one, they f- it like featured prominently first, Definitely. and I was trying to figure out is that just like, you know, he remembers towering over Bart, but I'm like, is that from something else? Anyway, I just was like, I I don't know why that was the first one they showed, but mm. anyway. Yeah, and I guess, like, in theory, I liked that, uh, uh, let's see if 10-year-old me could beat up 10-year-old you, but then they went on with the 20-year-old and... Exactly, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I didn't mind the pick pick a day sequence. I thought that was cleverly done. You know, the picture per day, 39 years. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, you know, we've seen so many of those, and I think putting it into an episode is a clever thing to do and it was well animated and it was well done you know the when you see this picture per day things um it's those little changes where you see their hair yeah grow you know and i thought that was well done and there were still some obvious parts in that yeah that i thought were just not needed but i thought that little sequence was was well done because some of them are like the the thing with that with those picture day usually things because it's like it's just like one frame they're doing something crazy but that like there was one there's the bit where like the like the alligator whatever or like the slime thing like grows out of the wall and then like slowly climbs up and it's like it's not a picture per day that's like a freeze frame picture like it's not quite like yeah no um you're right and there was uh, uh, like a few background jokes which were like well that couldn't have taken place over days that was, yeah that's like what's happening then and now yes yeah. yeah and i thought the, the beer can bit went on yeah too too long. they didn't need to yeah. do like three and also it's just like are you saying that well i mean we know homer is like got a drinking problem but it's like is he how much money is he spending on those fucking cans? It just kind of made me annoyed that it like, just kept going. And I'm like, Maybe that's get how it. they made money in their early 20s, uh, uh, in their <laughs> 20s and early 30s. Is by it was the little cultures. things that annoy me though, because he, like, he, built, he builds it on the ground and then Marge somehow gets it up on a trolley to take it away. And I'm like, how the fuck did she get it up on the trolley <laughs> yeah. without dropping the whole thing? Anyway. <laughs> Something else that really annoyed me, speaking about Homer drinking, is... I don't know. You know, we know Homer gets drunk. Does he have a drinking problem in a, a, according to decade one? Does he actually have a drinking problem or does he occasionally drink too much? And this episode yeah. makes it seem like he routinely comes home drunk and he's a bad parent. Yeah. Well, okay, yeah. No, I get you, know you there mean? because, like, there's the episode where he gets the DUI and in the first decade and Marge is, and uh, he's court mandated to uh, be sober for 30 days and... Marge is like, um, hey, I think you might actually have a problem here. And it's yeah. sort of, it's uh, it obviously hasn't impacted the family life, like you were saying. And now yeah. this one, it's, yeah, clear that um, his alcoholism is having repercussions on his family. That's right, yeah. <laughs> then again, they, they, I, I just talked about, we just watched it the other day. There's that episode where he's trying to tell Bart about sex. And he's like, women are like a beer. <laughs> They're called, you, you know, you, you want another one. And you'll do anything to get your hands on another one. And it's like that that kind of language makes me go, maybe he does have a drinking problem. But, but if he like, had a yeah. serious drinking problem and they were making light of his alcoholism, yeah, yeah. we would have seen that clearly in the first decade. We don't. What we see is a man who occasionally likes to get drunk at the pub with his buddies. Yeah. We don't see somebody yeah. who routinely... Um, gets drunk and destroys his family life potentially thinks he may have beaten up his wife that's how mm. much of an alcoholic he is in this episode that he yeah. accepts that he thinks yeah that's right that he that could be something that he could have potentially done that's never something first decade Homer would have done yeah and the, he would yeah. never have thought that he would have done it because first decade Homer is a good husband and he is a good father he's yeah he just he's a bit of a screw up but he's not an idiot as no, such. yeah, that's right. Like, yeah, yeah, he's stupid, but not. Um, he's not jerk ass Homer. He's, yes, exactly, yeah, <laughs> yes. Um, where um, and yeah, just finally on uh, the general talk, I just want to say like, Homer and Marge being on shaky ground, uh, like they're sometimes really tough episodes, and yeah, this episode didn't earn the shaky ground. No, like, 
you're just like wait 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 why are you potentially um fucking up this relationship like there's no moments around it jokes or story or otherwise that like um are making me go along with this ride it just makes me feel like you're fucking with my parents just because (laughs) yeah yeah, i I kind of feel as well because um i I like again i hadn't i hadn't seen it so it was kind of a, a, a surprise but but watching the episode and seeing how it was playing out i'm like going well obviously it's a misunderstanding like i mm. know it's obviously something like he didn't hit her and there's this mm. whole like oh my god i hit her but it's like well it's the simpsons and i know where this is leading like it's going to be like a joke and it's going to be mm. something else yeah. and it, yeah like it didn't kind of feel like it was kind of it was hitting it, it, would tr- it was trying to make this like a really heavy hitting scene but it just wasn't no, because like you know no, the wasn't MO an emotional of the show ride. yeah um i uh, did i just sorry just one, one other thing i did like that so talking about homer being smart as well just because there's a bit where he like runs out after wiggum and it's like oh yeah so who, you're so smart who killed jack the ripper and he goes it was the queen's personal surgeon or whatever like runs yeah he goes, oh, okay. <laughs> another joke i liked in theory but i didn't i didn't actually lol yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right so on the questionnaire um oh. That was one yeah, yeah. kind of joke that I didn't mind. Yeah. Was um, <laughs> Mo pausing the video of his face yeah. oh. over and over. That kind of made me giggle because that is actually something that really happens oh, to yeah. everybody yeah. Yep. all the time. And so that kind of made me go, <laughs> anyway, yeah. sorry. And no, 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 the, that was <laughs> funny. I was just like, haha, VHS references. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you guys don't think you've seen this episode before, hey? I've never seen this episode I, I, Like before. I said, I, I remember when it... Uh, when it someone put a um the actual youtube joke yeah yeah like the youtube, YouTube as, as a youtube clip um but it said like oh this is this awesome episode bit yeah. from the a latest episode of simpson i watched it and i kind of went oh okay and yeah. then i thought well maybe the rest of episode makes like sense around it but nope <laughs> <laughs> upon watching said episode it it's doesn't. like they, they're going what's what's a recent trend and let's yes. just put it in an episode. Yeah. So that's like what all their episodes, their latest episodes seem like, to be. Yeah. What's happening? Like Ice Age or yeah. like whatever. Or yeah. was it the love boat at the end? What was that parodying? Oh, I don't know. But I have it, no idea. It ended anyway. with a the end question mark. And that's like, that is so out of place for this story. That's yeah. not yeah. A, it doesn't even make sense. The end question mark. Anyway. Um, yeah, I actually do think I've seen this episode before because there were bits of it that like I remembered and I'm like, Wow, I actually think I blocked this one out. I, <laughs> ironically enough, you took wow. a forget me shot. Yeah, totally. <laughs> but yeah, it came out in two thousand seven. So um, uh, there you go. You want to watch this episode again? No, nah. <laughs> I mean, no. It, it, it didn't have enough for me to go. Oh yeah, there's some really good bits, and I want to watch it again. No, mm. it didn't have that. No. No. Um, I'm guessing I know the answer to this, but is there any scenario you recommend anyone else watching it? If they want to see how terrible the Simpsons cast <laughs> became, yes, this yeah. would be the instance. Um, or even I, I, at I the very think... least, is it worth sharing the YouTube gag? Yeah, yeah. I, I would just say, I'll just watch the YouTube gag because it's kind of cool. You see, like how they envision Homer, mm. like how because it, you don't often think about like there's not often that you see uh, like child homer you see him as either as like a baby or like a teen mm. or as like kind of a young adult you never see that kind of that transition between so it's kind of cool to see that but i would just just watch that clip you don't need to watch the whole episode because the rest of it is all kind of annoying yeah. Yeah, and it's not worth the payoff of watching that bit no not at all <laughs> um and also like the couch gag the powers of 10 uh, parody which oh yeah i forgot about that could have been good and there were a couple little funny animation bits but then it just ended with homer going weird yeah. So it fell flat. Yeah. I felt like, Too self aware. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I like the idea that it was like, it, uh, it had this, you know, the bit where it kind of like zoomed out so far and it became like back into like the nucleus of an atom and, yeah. and then kind of going back up. It was basically just almost like an animation test. Like, it yeah. was just like, what are we going to do? We'll just do it shot for shot and we'll include one gag about Kang and Kodos like mm. breaking down. And that was it. The rest was just like, just. Just an animation. Almost a shot for shot remake yeah. of Powers of Ten. Yeah, which I guess was... uh, capitalizing again on what was trendy that day, and yeah, the yeah. Powers of Ten video. Yeah. All right, this is an important question. Did it feel like a Simpsons episode when you think? No, Simpsons... I think Jordan got it right. It it felt like a Futurama episode. What? Yeah. What did <laughs> it I was say just... that? No, no, no. You see, you said it. it was like Futurama punching the orderly. No, no, no Family Guy. 
Family Guy, sorry, not Futurama. <laughs> Fuck. Sorry, Futurama. Sorry, I didn't mean to insult you that way. Um, I'll fix yes, that sorry. <laughs> it did feel like a Family Guy episode. Like, this crazy shit is happening, and like, look what's over here. And then mm. I remember that time. Yeah. With a loose thread of a story connecting it all together. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, I, don't, I think there were sequences that were kind of reminiscent of Family Guy, but for me, it kind of felt like, like a B episode. Like, if you had like the single. Uh, like the the ones that you, you kind of watch again this was like a, a demo or b-side it's like maybe all like a pilot and then you go ah no we'll cut this one we won't show this one like we've made if this was a pilot 40 episodes episode and we only need 20 TV executive would you sign that tv Ugh, show god no no Fuck no no it's not even good enough to be a demo episode <laughs> all right so um <coughs> also in uh with uh, uh this uh, podcast I like to comment on the wackiness and the heart because it's not so much that wackiness in Simpsons is a bad thing I mean the Hank Scorpio no. thing is just a ridiculous episode but it also has a lot of heart so it uh-huh. sort of balances yeah. it all out so just first of all comment on the wackiness it's a pretty freaking wacky episode yeah. it's like oh where's my family like and it's like so overdone That's exactly what it's like yeah. yeah it's really just it's too much mm-hmm. like it's it's like it doesn't Usually it's like still like I said before, it's like it's, there's some bits that are grounded in in reality, and this one was just kind of was so over the top and just like oh, it's such a crazy situation. It's for the sake and, of being wacky, yeah. yeah, not for any purpose at all. And then to bring it to the heart, there's no heart, you know, anchoring it and holding it down and giving absolutely them its weight. nothing. No, because like, you felt no connection. Mm-mm. You know, Duffman is one of those characters, you know, that you quote every now and then when you're just doing something stupid and you remember him fondly for Duff Man is thrusting in the direction of the problem. Yeah. Yep. You know, stupid little things like that. Yep. You feel no connection to him in Mm-mm. this episode. He's just a, like a lever, essentially. Yeah. And yeah. it's, yeah, it is, he's in it for way too long. And, and it, <laughs> like Patty and Selma in Decade One, you laugh at you understand why they don't like Homer oh, yeah. and you love their sarcasm and like you said this one was flat out murder <laughs> yeah. you just there's no heart to them even their heart's gone and they didn't have much uh, is it also no, and it's kind of dumb because it's like obviously there's a time cut but like how did they get from the bridge onto the boat yes and it's like what and I like because then but then Duffman says oh it's 11 o'clock you still want to go but it's like the party's only just started yeah like <laughs> they didn't have time it's already 11 and, yeah. Yeah. yeah like what all right. Um, so, yeah, influence quotable moments. I guess we went through all the good jokes. Um, yeah, pretty much that was about it. <laughs> all right. So I'll kick off the rankings and call it a failure. Um, where, where are you guys thinking? Um, I don't think you're giving it a bronze. I'm actually going to give it a participation. Yeah. Okay. Only because I think it's not... I mean, it was pretty bad. However, I think that it ha- could have... It did have potential. Mm-hmm. Had the writers tried, tried, <laughs> and had the, had this been like original Simpsons, the storyline could have actually had heart, and mm. it could have dialed down the wackiness, added in some heart. There were jokes there that could have been good, and the ones there that they obviously thought were better, and then just dragged out for way too long. So there was potential there. It wasn't an out and out as you say dumpster fire <laughs> it was it had potential for something greater than it yeah it had and, and that's why i give it a p for participation fair enough um how about you jordan yeah i was gonna give it a participation as well like i think it uh it, it could have been a lot worse but it could have been a lot better as well like i think like you said it, it definitely had the potential to kind of do something really nice um and kind of be kind of make you feel good at the end as well but instead it was like well, we know where this is going and it's just kind of annoying me and like it's like holding out as a secret oh but like we, we know what's going to happen at the end so it was kind of it just it just kind of annoyed me and they it felt like they were just stretched thin for material so just kind of just throw whatever you have at the wall and kind of see what sticks yeah, yeah. I don't know it just wasn't wasn't good yeah. So participation, but, but not me. bad enough to um, no. Like I can throw imagine it. Fire, totally. <laughs> I can imagine it being worse, and that's what scares me. So yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, I even think that's so bad that I'm shifting and not gonna um, play the twentieth uh, season plus episode that I originally picked, and I'm gonna get another one. Wow. Um, wow. So um, to be continued to oh, find oh, out what that so one is. One last one. Oh yeah. 
I was thinking, actually, I, I did like, the only other thing I kind of laughed at was where he was talking to his kids about, like, Darth Vader, or like someone being with Marge. And he goes, they placed the cook holds horn upon my head. Like, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. about, uh, you kind of like that. It was kind of cute. Yeah. But that was like it. That was it. There were actually <laughs> a couple of mo- moments, sorry to keep going while we said we're going to stop, but there were a couple of moments in there that I thought, uh, if you didn't just throw shit at the wall to see what stuck, and you actually pace the episode properly, there could have been, like what you just said, there could have been some quotable moments yeah. in there. Mm. And actual, like, things that were memorable. Yeah. And I just think it just kept missing the mark. Yeah. They were just trying to throw too much shit at the wall. Like, oh, yeah, like, obviously they just needed they needed some bits. Like, at, like at the end, we got how he made it a surprise again. Yes, and like yeah, we, we got, got it back. Yeah. We Over understood it. it. And like, yeah, 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 we're going to show you exactly how you did it. But then uh, they had to do it to do the jokes about anything you want to say for home before he forgets, like you yeah. do it now. But, but to quote like, Marge, oh, come on, Lisa, we already figured that out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, um, on to the next one. All right, and we just watched the 18th episode of the 21st season called Chief of Hearts, the episode where... Homer and Chief Wigan become best friends, BFFs, and um, as a side story, Bud likes Japanese robot games. Anyway, what do you guys think? It was less bad than the last episode. Yeah. I actually, I I liked it a lot more than the the last one we watched, which was only, what, two seasons prior? Yeah, yeah. You could tell, like, it was a big shift, like, the... The writing was a lot more, like, m- much more different, and uh, the 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 jokes were better, I think, than the the ones in in the season nineteen one. I yeah, I, I actually enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I it definitely, I didn't expect it. I, I mean, it's still probably in terms of how does it rank against first decade Simpsons? It doesn't. No. Nah. But it's definitely exceeded expectations. Yeah, Absolutely. I remember the first time I watched this one, I was surprised that they hadn't done Homer and Chief Wiggum being friends really before. Mm. No. Like, and it just makes so much sense. And um, it was definitely the stronger parts of the episode. I did think the Bart and the Battle Bots and Marge thinking it's drugs was a bit more filler. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Filler B storyline. But yeah, the A plot of Homer and Wiggum just made so much sense that, yeah. Yeah. I started off like writing down what I didn't like, then I just kind of went, actually, this is actually a pretty good episode. So, like, some of the things were just like, oh, why is that happening or whatever. Like, is that is that a recurring character at the start? Like, that woman who's like, oh, you don't know Dylan? Like, is that... No. I didn't understand that. I thought it was like an in-joke. I think I, yeah. maybe that was just... Well, I just thought that was a reflection of society mm. today. Yeah. You know, like, people not trying to gender... Mm. things and, and trying to be more equal in in that respect yeah. and that and that it can be confusing yeah. for people i think that's all that that was really yep as someone who's uh in my lifetime saw my own name start out as a boy's name and since scrubs become a girl's name as yeah. well yeah. <laughs> and all oh, mine too actually yeah, Jordan. Jordan. yeah. <laughs> have you met a male shana yet or no <laughs> no, no. You've met I heaps haven't. of Shanes, though. Met heaps Shanes. of Shanes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, um, I, I did like the little touch at the start as well of um, Batman be- beating up Superman. Yeah, like, this was <laughs> like way before they would have known that movie was a thing as yeah. well, so that's pretty funny. <laughs> so, um, yeah. No, I, I thought, like, like you were talking about before, and, or maybe we can talk about it later, but the, there was definitely a lot more heart in this episode. Mm-hmm. Like, it made you actually kind of feel good watching it. Yeah, and they and dialed down the wackiness so yeah, that the absolutely. actual jokes where yeah. they are can actually come through shine yeah. through mm. yeah yeah and oh man i love that lunchbox joke just meatball palm and eggplant palm and my <laughs> wife can palm anything yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, my wife only palm birthday <laughs> <laughs> oh and then those sad puppy dog eyes yeah. that was such a good bit of animation yeah. there like yeah. chief wiggum you were like oh i want to give you a sandwich <laughs> as you know what i was thinking um and i guess this kind of relates back to what you were saying about homer and, and chief wiggum haven't been done before together and it it does make sense and as I was watching it I was thinking sorry I better move this microphone a bit closer Um, as I was watching it I was thinking like that would never happen in Mm. first decades and sins and and we would never see this side of the personality of Chief Wiggum but 
they're running out of storylines at some point, yeah. right? And I'm ca- surprised that they're still going. So, of course, they've got to try something new. So, it, it, in a way, I think for us, those of us who are, um, you know, Simpsons fans from way back, it is a little bit of a... You do have to shift your mentality yeah. into, you know, I have watched the classics a thousand times now. Now I have to shift my mind into something else. And I think that's part of the reason why it exceeded expectations is that I did shift my yeah. mentality. But yeah, I guess the thing is like a lot of, uh, because they, they were so rich in story, the first 10 and it's kind of like bit characters didn't have any kind of character development no, at all. Right, they were exactly. there to no. be their role. And mm. so now it's kind of like, well, maybe do an episode where we expand a little bit on, on Wigan, where he's kind of like this kind of, he's got no friends and his wife doesn't really want to hang out with him kind of that kind of and like you'd imagine that yeah it would be lonely and like you know, and yeah he totally kind of friend and, and he totally grounds it when he says you know cops don't really have a lot of friends because yeah the general public so hate us and you know them, yeah. we remind each other of um, awful times like yeah. and let's be honest ralph had to come from somewhere yeah <laughs> so yeah. probably his dad is a loner yeah and a weirdo and and um unlike episodes like the groundskeeper willie musical or um, I don't know, there was a terrible sideshow Mel one where they tried to give him a lot of backstory and it's like, no, this was a, a, a good one where it was just, um, yeah, putting him uh, with a Simpsons character and, um, yeah. yeah, watching them have a wacky adventure together. Mm. Although, like, I thought the turns at the end were a little unearned. Like, I, don't, I thought Homer got annoyed with him too quickly. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I think, I think they spent too much time on the kind of the budding friendship and it's like, oh, we need a... Uh, we need um, what you got like conflict, conflict yeah. yeah and so it's like well we're just gonna kind of make it stereotypical and and kind of brush over it but yeah it, it was very um just like oh this is what would happen and it wasn't like yeah mm. i guess they were trying to say like this this does is what does start to happen in relationships like one or two years in like you just like little things start to annoy you about yeah. the other and stuff and like you don't but, s- have your own you know thing anymore um, mm. But I guess, you know, having to wedge it into one episode is kind of hard. So they kind of they had to do it like that, maybe. Mm. But, um, and yeah, but the fact that he started getting annoyed at him, like, right after he got out of hospital, or that he was getting needy right after yeah. he woke up, it that felt like a little, ah, uh, you could have done that a bit better. Yeah. It, the, only, the only thing about this episode is that, and I, I don't know if it's just because I'm getting tired, but <laughs> it really seemed to drag... It yeah. felt like a much longer episode than what it actually was. I don't know why that was. That's well, the the B story was pretty. Um, um, and then this happens, and then this happens. That had a lot mm. of turns in it as well. Like, it had, Bart gets into this thing. Um, Bart's really getting into it, but Skinner thinks it's drugs, and then yeah. the next scene, but then it Mark kind of it drugs. Didn't, it didn't go anywhere after and that. It's, it's like, oh no, this, oh this is, and then Marge just goes, it's cute. And it's like, that's where the story ends. Almost. I do like that it ends with Bart uh, flushing them down the toilet and going, oh, it's not cool if mum likes it. Oh, yeah. Come on, toilet, if you can handle dad, you can handle these. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah there were some pretty good one-liners, actually, in this one. Mm. Again, I and, I, thing, and I just don't know how they compare... I don't think they compare to see oh. Decade One. Sorry, just re- that was my, I think that was my favourite line for the episode, like how Chief is talking about Ralph, and it's like, you know... He's got all these nightmares. Like, what if the bed wets him? <laughs> <laughs> like, what if Superman kills everybody? Yeah. yeah. That, those are actually, I like Ralph gags where it's told through another character. Like yeah. when Lisa goes, I can do it with some more thought. And it's like, yeah, you didn't need Ralph to deliver it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I, w- I would never have, by choice, watched a, see, a, a 20 plus season episode mm. of The Simpsons. But it's kind of like, well, I'll do it for this just to see how bad it is. Um, and I, I ended up actually kind of going, actually, it wasn't too bad. But yeah. I know that not every episode is going to be like that. That's no, that's why I sort of switched because the last one was such a dumpster fire. I'm like, okay, I've got I to balance <laughs> this out a bit. But, yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> we'll do the um, Homer diaper episode and yeah, a time when <laughs> we watch a good episode At before. At time. Because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one is truly horrible. Oh great! Looking um, forward to it. Yeah. Anything else generally you'd like to add to that, John? I uh, yeah. No. Just um, I, I I thought it again. It, it it reminded me more of first decade than second decade Simpsons in that the kind of there was a story 
that had you know and they had a beginning middle and end and everything it reminded me a little bit of the um the one where uh crusty sells his daughter's violin oh yeah um and like him and home and have to team up to get it back from the mob or whatever and, like you know um but yeah no it, it it was i think better writing and they didn't like dr- they didn't force you to laugh at a joke by just going with it for too long so yeah yeah i, yeah, I thought it was a yeah like i said a definite upgrade from season 19 mm. yeah Oh, and um, also, uh, given the recent events, <laughs> got to talk about that opening with Homer and the candy apple. So yeah. um, he's eating a candy apple and his mouth is stuck, a la the uh, episode where they get lost in the woods and so he can't talk properly. And then he puts the candy apple in his pocket, which, of course, gets stuck. His hands get yeah. stuck. Everyone thinks he's got a gun. And then, <laughs> yeah, at least I they saw- tasered him. I guess it's because he's yes. white yeah. or white. yellow. Yeah, that's yellow. right. <laughs> I like how he, like, like knocks over the flag as well and it's like oh my god i think he's gonna but yeah. um yeah actually actually i thought that bit was funny as well at the start where yeah. he's in front of the judge and it's like community service you're like no <laughs> send me to jail free food <laughs> library books that come to you <laughs> well, I think actually that i'll serve anyone but the community <laughs> <laughs> this this episode was reminiscent of first decade simpsons in that in that the beginning was in no way indicative yeah. of the yeah. actual story yeah and that's what we were talking about before which is that was the great thing about the original um simpsons was that you could watch an episode and have no idea where it was going to go yeah yeah well um it's good because the first scene set up the rest of the episode but one of the problems with later episodes of the simpsons is the first act sets up the next two acts like mm. in the uh, um episode where Bart and Milhouse break into Flanders house and the, he, all the Beatles memorabilia and they spend seven minutes on that and then the story goes somewhere else where uh, he's right. in the preteen Braves for the next two acts and they just it's completely disjointed from the first act yeah. whereas this one it was a scene to set up why he yeah. would um, is suddenly yeah. becoming friends with Chief Wiggum yeah. he didn't I- fulfil his community service in the end either <laughs> no, I mean maybe he'll make it up. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I, I like I did like the uh, like, again. It was like another little like throwaway joke, but like the Brockman, you got to sort the bums by the, in order of the wars they fought in. Like, <laughs> you know, like, it was like little things, and I thought, yeah, that's like what you remember about it. It's mm. like the little kind of just mm. bit jokes that are kind of the good thing about seasons one to twelve. 11, 10, you know. Actually, you reminded me in that same scene, there's a reoccurring thing of Krusty's cocaine use in later seasons where right. I think it feels more gross rather than funny. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't like thinking of Krusty as a coke addict. Like, yeah, I mean, you could probably, like, envision it, like, kind of going, yeah, he probably, like, he's obviously got a lot of problems and stuff, mm. but um, it's not... I think not, because, like, mm. it, similar to Homer's drinking problem, mm. it seemed like Krusty's drug use in the previous in the original seasons Krusty's drug use was always something that was just alluded to it was never like here's an entertainer that's on drugs and entertains your kids yeah whereas in this he's a clown who's got cocaine in his nose that he wears all day and that is kind of gross to think about that yeah whereas like I mean even I think this is from a later episode but where Krusty goes now I've a lot of ooh and I've a lot of yeah man (laughs) like (laughs) that's like a better subtler joke than oh my nose my cocaine and also like I think like the previous canon established that the nose is attached (laughs) like that's yeah (laughs) originally they were gonna make Krusty and Homer the same person yeah Yeah. weird season one things yeah yeah Yeah, and I thought oh that's pretty cool but again it would have made it really difficult but anyway yeah What, what season is it where um Krusty gets arrested. Huh? Where Krusty gets arrested, but it's actually Socho Bob the whole time. Oh, one. Is that season one? Again? Yeah. Right. I remember um, that episode. Yeah, it's in the second half of the season where like there's a notif- noticeable shift in season yeah. one. It's amazing. Like The start starts out slow, so slow and um, yeah. low on jokes. Um, anyway, um, so um, do you reckon you'd watch this one again? Start with you, Jordan. If it was on... Uh, yeah. And I had to make no effort to put it specifically on. Yeah, I, I say I the, uh, this is the scenario that at the bare minimum, you're hungover, you got your, your comfort food, and yeah. 
Um, it's on. You didn't have to put it on. You're not requesting it. It just appears. Yeah, I, w- I, I would watch it in that circumstance. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily skip it. Uh, and like I said, unless yeah, if it was just there, I'd watch it again. Mm. Yeah, Shane, would you watch this one again? Yeah, potentially. Yeah. 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 Um, like I said, I wouldn't seek it out. Yeah. But if it just appeared and the remote was nowhere nearby, <laughs> and it wasn't something else on another channel, yes, I would watch it. So yeah, in turn, it's probably one that you'd own, uh, like recommend others watching if they were on the same said couch, and yeah. they're like, "Oh, yeah. New Simpsons." You're like, "No, no, this one's actually not too bad." Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, exactly. But exactly like, the actually, because it, it, you've changed my mind about mm. there's no redeeming quality about the Simpsons after season thirteen plus, essentially. But that one made me go, you know what? That's actually it, that seems like they were trying again, almost. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I was kind of pleasantly surprised yeah a- another one that actually stuck better in my memory when i uh, then now when i sort of put on my critic hat and sort of go oh, okay those were a few flat jokes but you know had more heart than most mm. yeah absolutely did this feel like a simpsons episode what do you reckon shana did- yeah i think it did um i really felt like it this could have a really this particular episode could have a really comfortable place in like season 12 or 13 yeah you know just before the simpsons really started going downhill mm. It still has a number of redeeming qualities to it. Um, it does feel like a Simpsons episode, definitely. Yeah, Jordan, what I do you think reckon? so too. Like, uh, yeah, absolutely. It's not. It's not in that kind of season four to eight where they were just like nailing every single shot, you know. Mm. Yeah. But um, it's definitely got the feel of Simpsons. Like before, it kind of it was almost like an amateur Simpsons. The previous one, this one felt like. Almost like you, you would have, you, if one of the original writers came back and helped out or something, sure. because it's like it had that kind of sense of, you know, like the, 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 not the themes, but the flow of an episode was there, like how you remember them, how they used to be. So, yeah, absolutely. Yep. All right. Um, so, just commenting on the wackiness, it's not a particularly wacky episode. I mean, no, not really. No, I mean, it's, it's not, it's, it, it, it is still kind of like grounded in reality because they kind of make this big deal that you know there's a reason why Homer is, is doing community service there's a re- and that's kind of wacky but it's 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 Homer kind yeah. of esque but the reason why they become friends is fairly Over nice palm. actually yeah <laughs> yeah like because they're both they both obviously love food and they you know they I think Homer is probably like he's got like friends but think about if, if you hung out at a bar every day it's just like you'd almost feel like are those my real friends or are those just people that i see every day kind of thing so i wonder yeah. if sometimes homer is lonely like he doesn't have like proper friends mm. so i can feel him like reaching out and finding a kindred spirit in wiggum and that kind Ooh. of thing i guess the the underpants bit was a bit wacky um like yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah i get my vi- underpants made by a village in the ukraine they call me daddy what? daddy, daddy round, round, round. Round. <laughs> <laughs> and like you could I, roll your eye at the first bit but then they bring it back with the get well card yeah. and they're like get well soon daddy round round <laughs> but yeah but it's like but because it, it because you think oh that's pretty wacky but then you go yeah, I paid for their water filtration system. Yeah. Like, oh, that's so cute. that segues nicely into the heart. There was heart yeah. in this yeah, episode, there was. right? Heart in this episode for sure. Like mm. from the yeah, the like the puppy dog eyes that William gives to, and, and not yeah. just heart, but a little bit of soul as well. Mm. Like this was not a soulless. Let's just make money episode. It didn't feel like that. It did, like you said, Jordan. It did feel like there was an original writer maybe he's come out of retirement yeah. Yeah. just for a bit of cash who's the writing credits was Brad Bird on that <laughs> or Conan so, or yeah, oh like- my god Carolyn Omine she's written some of the most terrible ones oh really and William Wright I don't know who that is when I was watching it I didn't feel it was like really sappy and saccharine like it didn't feel yeah. like over the top it felt like a really nice just kind of like oh, oh you were like along a, with the ride like a feel yeah. good episode essentially it wasn't like Oh, this is so pathetic, or this is like really too much. It, yeah, it just you, felt nice, especially in the beginning. You believed the turns, and like when Chief was like, uh, "Is he looking? Uh, let's look without looking." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he waved, "Officer up, officer <laughs> way up!" Yeah. Like you're just like, "Oh, that is sweet." Yeah, yeah. That's cute. and because yeah, like um, it gets harder to make friends the older you get. So you say, uh, yeah, being at this age, I sort of yeah. know that feeling. Like yeah, yeah, um, yeah it is really cool when you make a new friend. 
Yeah, um, absolutely. I liked when Homer brought the bucket of chicken. He's like, <laughs> what does he say? <laughs> he says like, oh, he could have brought enough for both of us. Oh, yeah. or something. <laughs> something like that, yeah. Oh, uh, and yeah, his his weapon is loaded with eleven herbs and spices. So, I think I think they might. Well, they said twelve herbs and spices, and I think they uh, must have legally I think, distinct. I think the term eleven herbs and spices is actually trademarked to oh, KFC. Right. So I think that's why they must have said specifically twelve. Like, okay. Oh, and yeah, when they were doing the Startsky and Hutch parody, they also said Snuggy, not Huggy Bear. Yeah. yeah. Which is like this is actually indicative of later Simpsons, which is really annoying where they do the slightly um, legally distinct yeah. things, yeah, yeah. like when they uh, the um, they do Cosmic Wars instead of Star Wars with yeah. Jim Jam Bonks instead of Jar Jar Binks. It's like, oh God. Uh, those aren't jokes. And the Grumple yeah. instead of the Grinch. And it's like, Dr. Seuss is not going to sue you for this one. Yeah. <laughs> Just say fun, what it is. Fun fact, it's Dr. Seuss. Seuss, really? Seuss, yeah. Because he, uh, yeah, he, he was a very... You know, I'll tell the story at another time. That's right. You don't need it for this podcast. Um, <laughs> yeah. A lot of heart. A lot of heart. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, pretty much all of the influence quotable moments. Any other jokes that uh, spring to mind? I, I did like the... Um, I, I would like to know the kind of reason why Mo had a giant cake. Like, and he's like, this is a bad moment for <laughs> to be holding this cake or something. I thought, well, yeah, because he, he is like a creep. He's a total creep, like in the uh, in the rest of the show, anyway. But um, I kind of like it. Like you get the like the amber alert up on the screen. I thought that was kind of funny. But other quotable moments. Gosh, I think the um uh what was it? I'm trying to think like if there was anything I liked in the battle bots. There were some really cute animations with that. Yeah, I was about to say the one that like drills in and steals the heart of the <laughs> like it like takes its heart out and it like drills yeah. itself <laughs> like I thought it was pretty cool like yeah it's got programmed if chip removed commit harakiri <laughs> yeah and I did like the um like the cop diner like the breakfast bar where it said not retro just old like <laughs> out the front I was like that's pretty good uh, uh, I love sign gags I think I've got to start writing them down because, yeah, yeah there's so many that just, uh, that's why I was looking whenever like it showed an establishing shot of the hospital yeah I was always like is that something does that say something but it just said emergency so yeah. I'm like well <laughs> never mind that's alright maybe there's a joke in there yeah Look um, what was the couch gag Oh, it was the uh, the restaurant, um, which I think visually is a, oh yeah was good, but like it does go on a it little too long. It just went on forever, and I was like, "Yeah, we get it." But they could have done it all at once. Yeah, like, I feel like it's like here's five meals that look like the main characters or whatever, but it was like one after the other. I'm like, yeah, Ugh. but yeah, from a design uh, perspective, I thought it was yeah a really good idea, but. He didn't need to have two bites of each thing, and like like you yeah. said, if they all came out at once, and like then he ate it and still did the same thing with the napkin and said mm, terrible, it still would have worked, but yeah, it was dragged out a bit too long. Yeah, well, like, you know, they'd be with like when uh, whenever they show Homer eating, it's just like oh, 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 oh. yeah, yeah. Well, like it's all yeah. gone. Because like imagine a comic book guy being like that, like essentially. I know, guess he's more of a foodie than Homer. Yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> he's, a, he's, he's not less like Homer than <laughs> than Homer. <laughs> He eats like a pig, not like a duck. Homer yeah. eats more like a duck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, let's rank this thing. Um, kick it off, Shana. Where, where, what are you going to rank it? I'm going to give it a bronze. If I saw this episode without context, if without knowing the rest of The Simpsons or anything like that, maybe I would give it a silver. But you know what's been better. And... Yeah, exactly. So I do give it a bronze because it was definitely better. It was not one of the best. I don't think it was... I don't think it was as good as... I think you have to see why I gave Treehouse of Horror a silver. And yeah. this was not as good as that. No, true. So I'm going to give this a, I'm gonna give this one a bronze. It definitely exceeded my expectations of... Like Jordan said, it was saying I would never... If you had said to me, we're going to watch episode... Like season 20 or 21, I'd be like, get fucked, Elliot. <laughs> we're not friends I'm anymore. hungover. I want to watch Good Simpsons. <laughs> yeah, don't piss me uh, off anymore. Than I, I don't want to get angry. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> So, um, but definitely this has changed my tune and opened my mind to oh. potentially watching. Yeah, I give it a, I give it a bronze. Okay, cool. Jordan? Um, I'm going to give it a bronze too. When I was watching it, I, I, I kind of, I wasn't really thinking about it. But as soon as it ended, I was like, yeah, you know what? I was actually, I, I enjoyed it. It, it, it wasn't, if you, if you compare it to the kind of the lofty standards of a really good 
episode it's not there but he, or even like a kind of a, a mediocre first decade episode like well, it's kind of hard to call it mediocre but like the the first one when we watched which is the, the three years of our seven mm. it it it's still not as good as those sure but it, for the context and and everything else I, I enjoyed it i would watch it again definitely definitely a bronze minimum i would say yeah, I, I actually agree with you guys. I think I went into it thinking it was a silver just based on memory. I've watched it probably about five times just in the background. And so I think um, mm. it sort of sticks better in my mind because of that. But like as an active watching it, yeah, you, it's it's it doesn't have enough jokes, I think. I think the story's mm. in the right place. but yeah. um, And the B story does let it down a lot. So yeah, I'm comfortable giving it a bronze as well. Yeah, yeah. It, was kind of, it was kind of one of those like what we lamented in the previous episode about you you just kind of you're throwing in references for the sake of it this was like yeah like it, what is it like bakugan or something mm. like it's just we're gonna put it in but we don't know how but we're gonna do it anyway kind of thing and it was kind of it felt a little bit like that so it kind of yeah whereas always the the b or even c stories in the previous ones were like they were always still solid and they could have made an episode out of them if they wanted them to but it was like yeah yeah. This one will not too much. So yeah. I think the fact of the matter is, really, when we're talking about all of this, well, we, we are being very harsh on The Simpsons. The fact of the oh, matter yeah. is, it has had many, many seasons. And usually, any season of any TV, no, I mean, what TV shows run for 20 seasons? We're talking about soap operas. Basically. Yeah. You yeah. know, they're not, um, they're not necessarily quality viewing. And I think we're being harsh, but, uh, you know, we have so much, so much good stuff to go on in the past. After twenty seasons, the storylines are going to get less solid, yeah. mm. and this, the uh, the jokes are not going to hit as hard. And it, you know, we talk about we were just talking about before about we usually when it when Thirty Rock got to season five, mm. it was getting stale, and they wound it down perfectly then. Mm. It, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So and that was that finished it uh, after season seven. This has had. You know, yeah. four times as many seasons or whatever. So but it's like three different shows at this stage. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Hence, hence my um, method of breaking up the yeah. decades like this. What are they up to season twenty-seven? Huh? What are they up to twenty-seven? Yeah, twenty-eight starts airing um, in a wow. couple of months. Uh, I know, right? Uh, <laughs> Jesus. All right. Well, anyway, better end it there. But um, thank you guys for um, having me over tonight. Oh, thanks for coming. Some it's delicious Thai, Thai food, and which yeah. I made. Yep, <laughs> totally from scratch. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. With your Thai background. Which way? Yeah, my heavy Can't Thai believe it. You've been slow cooking that uh, Massaman for 24 hours just for, <laughs> just for you. <laughs> Lebanese Thai fusion. But yeah. yeah, I hope to come around and do it again. You guys have been great, get, great guests. And uh, once again, tell them who you are Shana M. Frost. Jordan A. E. Frost. And we are married and we are brother and sister. Oh, that's weird. Don't just say that. We are not. Don't lie, asking. guys. They're not married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've been your host, Elliot J. O'Neill. This has been The Simpsons Index, and I'm never tapping out. Thank you for checking out The Simpsons Index podcast. Don't forget to go to www.thesimpsonsindex.com for the spreadsheet and information about upcoming episodes. Now you understand elections. I've seen like I've seen this on so. Mm, mm.